Good morning and welcome to Morning Psalms and Prayer. It is Friday, July 10th. We begin with a prayer for illumination. Let us pray. O God of the dawn and God of the lightning, God of the full bright sun and God of the colored northern lights, grant us your Holy Spirit, the comforter that Christ has promised. Grant that through the hearing of your word we might see the radiance of the transfigured Christ until the day dawns and the morning star rises in our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Okay, we are in Psalm 27 today. Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing I have asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, Seek my face. My heart says to you, Your face, Lord, do I seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger. O you who have been my help, cast me not off. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to, thy, to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. All right, as we look at these verses, we see another really famous thing that we probably know either from songs or from liturgy or uh, just from reading scripture. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? There, verse one, it's right there for us. The Lord is my light. He is my salvation. And so I don't need to be afraid. Now for David, he was using this in the context of being king. He was using this in the context of, of likely battle or armies coming up against him. But you know, it applies also to our daily lives, right? We are in a battle each and every day. Uh, sometimes it may feel really severe. Other times it might not feel like that big a deal. But we have temptation every day. We are tempted to turn away from God. We're tempted to look to other things for our salvation each and every day. And so these are the fears. These are the, the, the things that we can be afraid of in our life. Uh, we also have difficulties in our life. You know, uh, there can be financial difficulties. There can be even personal safety issues. Lord willing, hopefully not. Uh, but those things can be a reality in our lives. We live in a fallen world. And so we need to remember this truth. The Lord is our light. He is our salvation. So if he is going to save us, if we have this confidence that we are in Christ... If we have this confidence that, that he is going to save us, that we have an eternity uh, with him in heaven, then we can make these statements. Who, who shall we fear? Who shall we be afraid of? And that's, that's difficult for us because we live in a, in a very affluent time. We don't live in a circumstance of persecution. But, you know, we have brothers and sisters across the world who, who live in that fear. Uh, I've met some people through my work with Words of Hope who have left persecution. And uh, boy, it's, it's humbling to think about that because I can, I can say this, I can pray this as a prayer, I can make this statement, but I don't really feel it. But yet, at the same time, I need to have this idea in front of me. I need to have this idea because there are things that I am afraid of. There are things that cause me to be afraid. But I need to trust in God. No matter the circumstances, I need to do that. And it's hard. And, and we're going to go to the last verse. We're going to start with the first verse here, verse 1, and then scroll down here to verse 14 to see the answer. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I don't know about you, but I don't like waiting. I don't know. I was in a store yesterday. I went to uh, the 
the funeral of a family friend, uh, one of my closest friends growing up, their, their father died. I think I mentioned that last week. And I stopped at a store on my way home because I needed something I could only get there. And the cashier was not speedy, to say the least. Now, I wasn't angry or anything, but I was sort of, I don't want to wait. And so what did I do? I went into my phone. I did something. I sent somebody a message. I tried to use the time. We don't like waiting in our age. We, we want instant results. Well, it turned out I ended up having a nice conversation because it did take quite a while. Um, I had a nice conversation with the person in front of me. Um, if I wouldn't have waited in that line, uh, gone to another one, uh, there are only a couple lines, but if I would have gone to another one, uh, I would have, I would have missed out on this conversation. In fact, we had a friend in common, uh, totally random. Uh, I would have missed it. Why? Because I, I wasn't willing to wait. Uh, how often do we not wait for the Lord? How often is it difficult for us to wait for God? That is hard. It requires us to be strong. It, it requires us to, to have some courage because we, we cannot uh, just do this on our own, it requires that we trust in God. We need requires that we that we wait for Him, and so, in the midst of these these difficulties that the sort of sort of difficulties that I mentioned as we started, you know, the answer is to wait for the Lord. We don't need to be afraid. We can He He will be victorious. Now it might not be in that exact moment. It might not even be uh, over the course of a long period of time. But he will be victorious in the end. He is doing something in you. In those difficult circumstances, he is doing something in you. He's refining you. He's making you holy. He's, he's working in you for your own good and for his glory. And so that's why we wait for the Lord. It's hard. I don't like doing it. I'm guessing nobody does. We live in a fast food society. We want it now. But we need to learn to wait for the Lord, to be patient and to trust in him. And so may this day and may this, our, our lives be a, a time where we are learning patience, where we are learning to wait for the Lord because we never know what he is going to give us. So may we be patient and trust in him alone. Let us go to prayer. Loving God, you are our light and our salvation, and so we will not fear. You are the stronghold of our life, and so there is none that we should be afraid of. Even if evildoers were to come against us as adversaries and foes, we know that because we are your children, they are the ones who will stumble and fall. Help us to walk this day in the confidence of that great truth. And we bring our prayers to you today for our nation. We pray that there would be peace in the midst of strife, and we longingly ask you for unity in the face of division. We pray for all that serve in positions of authority in our nation, from our local and county government and to the state and national level. We ask for wisdom for those who serve, and most importantly, we pray that they would seek your will to do what is best for our nation. And so we begin our day knowing that you are the God who cares for his people. In the day of trouble, we know that you will not hide from us. Instead, you will hide us in your shelter. We are safe and secure in your loving arms because you have been gracious to us in the Lord Jesus. And today, may we seek your face. We ask that you would teach us your ways and lead us on a level path. Make us strong in our faith and help our hearts to take courage and wait for you. We pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Have yourself a very good Friday and a blessed weekend.